Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to WWE 2K22 My Rise. And if you've watched the previous episode, you'll know we won a mixed tag team challenge with Naomi. We were called up as Jimmy Uso's late replacement after he was injured, and we actually managed to win it, incredibly. So today we continue on from that, and winning it enables us to be co-general manager of SmackDown for the evening. Let's say hello to Naomi. We did it! Well, technically, I did it. Seriously? <laughs> Relax, I'm kidding. We did this as a team. Yeah, we may have been a last minute thrown together pairing, but it worked out okay. So as GM of SmackDown, I know I'm gonna give myself a universal title match against Roman Reigns. But what are you gonna do? Have a glow in the dark match or something? Funny, no. I'm going to get my SmackDown women's title back. It's been too long since I've held gold. So thanks for helping me make it possible. And good luck against Roman. He's family, but I won't be mad if you're able to beat him. So this is it then, huh? Nah, I'll be seeing you around. Thanks again. I'm going to go call Jimmy. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. WWE Universal Championship! The head of the table has arrived. Complete domination of WWE. This has brought his family in the locker room in line and we should all be thankful that wwe has roman reigns While some people may question the change in Roman's attitude, you cannot deny he still works harder than anyone in WWE. Takes no opponent lightly, engages in psychological warfare even before the bell rings. And there is no question about it. Roman Reigns is one of the most dominant competitors in WWE history. Oh, he'll show why he's at the top of the food chain. Introducing the challenger from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 248 pounds. And introducing the champion from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the WWE Universal Champion, Roman! This title represents the very top of the mountain here in WWE. This Universal Championship is what all superstars dream of. Here we are then, Wolverine versus Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship on SmackDown. And the reason we got this shot, we're GM. We're the general manager. No one says no to us. And this is our award for winning the Mixed Tag Team Challenge. We can decide what we want to do on SmackDown. And this was it. Wolverine, never afraid for a challenge. Never afraid to not put himself out there. Now, as you can see at the top left, it does say damage Roman Reigns of attack. 
But something is obviously going to happen at some point in this match. Whether it's just an interference, but we continue on, or whether someone disqualifies us, I don't know. But it doesn't bode well, does it, for our championship shot? Always like a clean championship shot. This isn't going to be it by a lot of things. Nice elbow off the top rope by Wolverine there. Now, Roman Reigns started very strongly. Wolverine has struggled to get into this match. Now starting to get some momentum on his side. But it was tough. Yeah, I don't know what it was, but we just couldn't really find a groove against Roman Reigns. At the minute, we're keeping on top of him. We know he's good. We know he's strong. Well, everyone knows that. But I honestly thought we would actually be able to easily railroad him and, you know, nice little squash match. Championship hours. Happy days. Nice general manager stint done. Unfortunately, it's not the case. Wolverine is struggling against Roman Reigns. As you can see, Roman Reigns is really going to town on us. I think some of it comes stems from the fact that he obviously doesn't want to defend his championship. He feels that there's no, no, there's no one that's anywhere near his level. So why should he defend it? But we're the general manager. So he couldn't say no to us. So there is that part of him probably that doesn't want to face us. doesn't even want to fight. He doesn't want to match. He just wants to sit in the back. Drinking whatever he drinks. And just sitting there watching the show. And unfortunately, we weren't allowed going to allow that to happen. Nice and well dropped there by Roman Reigns. Wolverine looking in a little bit of trouble here. Struggling to really get back into this. He is not doing well against Roman Reigns. This doesn't bode well for future matches either. Because at some point, before we leave SmackDown, we have to beat Roman Reigns. That's the objective. We cannot leave SmackDown until we've done the majority of the storyline. But also, we've got to be the champion. Otherwise, why leave? Until you've got to that pinnacle, why would you then leave? So, this doesn't bode well for a later match with Roman Reigns if we're struggling now. We did block the Superman punch there, but found to follow it up. As we just hit thin air. And Roman Reigns still all over us here. That's the right, that's going to hurt. That's going to leave a mark in the morning, isn't it? And Roman Reigns a bit pound on pound as well. Wolverine just cannot keep up with Roman Reigns. I don't know what it is. We just we just seem to step behind the whole time. Roman Reigns now working on the hands. That's going to affect Wolverine me trying to do any of his signature moves or finishing moves. That's not a good thing. Wolverine trying to get out of this. Not managing to. Head into the turnbuckle. And a shoulder into the stomach there before holding the knee. As Wolverine is trapped against the corner there. Roman Reigns going for a quick pin here. It's one, it's two. Wolverine getting the shoulder up. And I thought this moment, let's escape. Let's roll out of the ring. Let's recuperate. Let's, you know, rethink our strategy. Because whatever we were trying to do was not working. Wolverine was struggling. We we're going to go back in. I didn't mean to climb the turnbuckle, but this does happen. Imagine not Roman Reigns down though. And we do have something up our sleeve. And it's going to be Wolverine's Revenge on Roman Reigns. A little bit out of nowhere, but we did block his Superman punch. But this will do some damage at least. And gets towards that mark that it's telling us in the top left we need. Reigns is struggling. At that point, normally, I would have gone for the pin. But obviously we can't. That's the downside for this. We cannot go for that pin. So, Roman Reigns, nice little kick up there to stop us from carrying on. We have nearly got to the point of finding out what will happen next in this match. Not that I want to know, because I kind of feel this is going to be taken away from us. And I don't want that. Roman Reigns setting himself up for the spear here. We managed to avoid it with a knee. Nice knee to the face of Roman Reigns. And now, it looks like we're going to find out what we need, what's going to happen next. And now the challenger looks to take control of Roman Reigns in this Universal Championship match. Yeah, a match he made himself. Really earned it. Wait a second. That's Jimmy Uso. He's been out for weeks with an injury. I'm guessing he's not here to congratulate his wife's replacement partner on winning the Mixed Match Challenge. If things had gone differently, this could have been Uso's championship opportunity tonight. Look out. Roman Reigns. Superman punch. to hold on to his Universal Championship. Yeah, with a major assist from his cousin. 
SmackDown's GM for the night had everything lined up perfectly, but it all changed in an instant due to the returning Jimmy Uso. No matter what kind of temporary authority he has, it wasn't enough to survive a distraction and a Superman punch. I'm sure both of these men are going to have a lot to discuss with each other and Naomi. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Uso. We helped his wife win the tag team challenge. And yet he does that to us. All over a little bit of jealousy. He feels we're getting too close to his wife. Which of course, Wolverine isn't interested. This is also the number one reason why Wolverine doesn't partner with people. Because it always goes wrong somewhere. Someone always takes something from it that they don't need to. Jimmy Uso going a bit green-eyed monster there and turning a bit jealous has cost us our chance at the, at the SmackDown Championship. Just why? There was no need for it, but we are ready to take him on in a one-on-one -on -one match after the actual proper general manager has agreed to it. So we're going to take on Jimmy Uso next. Welcome to the Uso Penitentiary! And his opponent, representing the Usos, from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 251 pounds, Jimmy Uso! You know, Jimmy Uso lost over a year of his career due to injury, and when Uso returned, he returned to a vastly different landscape for both his brother and his cousin. No, get up. Uso picked up right where he left off. A different landscape, same high-level competitor. Then Wolverine versus Jimmy Uso, the guy that cost him his chance at the championship, the Universal Championship we should have won, and just frustrated that it didn't happen. Really frustrated. But instead, we're gonna we're gonna just fight through this, take it all out on Jimmy Uso, should we say? And hopefully, he's not as good as his cousin was, because we did struggle against Roman Reigns. Nice elbow by Wolverine there. We did really struggle to really gain momentum against Roman Reigns. So Jimmy Uso, Uso isn't on the same level as as Roman Reigns. And I would say he's not on the same level as Wolverine. You just need to prove that here. You gotta take all our aggression, all our anger, all our frustration out on Jimmy Uso. And show him why he shouldn't mess with other people's business. We helped his wife. We had no other things towards his wife. There was no not even an inkling of anything happening. But yet the jealousy takes over. Wolverine now totally in control, dropping Jimmy Uso on the turnbuckle there. And Jimmy Uso is looking in trouble. Wolverine, shadow boxing in the ring. Going for the knee now, going for the lower base. We know Jimmy Uso has got a super kick on him, so we've got to be careful of that. If we can take out the legs, it does mean he's going to stand less of a chance of using it on us. Jimmy Uso back to his feet. And Wolverine just full-on display of power now over Jimmy Uso. We can keep this going. Jimmy Uso doesn't stand a chance. And currently this is the best display probably we've seen from Wolverine in quite a while where he is just totally dominant. Now for the pin here. It's one. It's two. And Jimmy Uso kicking out at two and a half. Wasn't expecting it to be a full-on three but it was worth a chance. Going top rope. Bit high risk from Wolverine here. Didn't need to do this but elbow missing. And this is the problem, you take a risk and it fails, you could be in trouble. Wolverine very quick on the attack again. And actually managing to keep the momentum going. Kind of running around the ring a bit all over the place there. This is where endurance becomes so important. Walking around the edge of the ring. I think he's trying to get up to the elbow, but just couldn't quite choose which direction he was gonna go in. Missing Jimmy Uso there, but Jimmy Uso also hit the turnbuckle because no one else was there. And now we have a bit of offense on Jimmy Uso. Not what we need. We're in total control. We're dominant. We do not need Jimmy Uso to get anything on us here. Nice reversal. Wolverine rolls through there, and he has Jimmy Uso ready. 
and it is going to be the Brutal Claw by Wolverine on Jimmy Uso. Got that, from there. that can't be it. Wolverine has too much bent up frustration, too much anger towards Jimmy Uso to finish it there. No, indeed. It's going to be Wolverine's revenge, and Jimmy Uso is going to be done. He's over after this. The Wolverine thinks, no, not quite. We're not done. It's not time to finish it just yet. One more move. And this is a move you've seen us use a few times. I do enjoy this move. It's a spinning side effect. And that is what we should say is it for Jimmy Uso. One, two, and three. Wolverine gets his revenge on Jimmy Uso. Jimmy Uso just was ridiculous in coming after us and stopping us from winning the title. I know obviously he's helping out his cousin. I get that. Maybe it's not all the Green Eye Monster coming through. It is some of the loyalty to his family. I understand. But... We had our chance at the head of the table, and we should have taken it. It wasn't for Jimmy Uso. But revenge is sweet, and we have done so. And Wolverine has finished on a high, at least. Now that is the replacement part in a storyline complete. It was quite a long storyline and all, um, but I think we did pretty well. Now if we have a look on social media, Jimmy Uso has something interesting to say to us. He reckons if we can get a partner we would be welcome in the Uso Penitentiary. Now, he has already proven to us why we don't have a partner and why we don't want a partner, to be fair. But maybe one, one day we may have to take him up on that offer, maybe. We shall see. I'm not sure who we could partner with, to be fair. If I got a choice, that'd be quite interesting. But that is it for this episode. If you're enjoying this series or any content on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. A like on the episodes does help as well. Um, I think I, this storyline was quite a long one, so we did split into two. We've done that previous episode. We split... A storyline is two. I'm trying to keep the episodes a decent short length. Um, so I hope that's okay with everyone else. But thank you for watching. Uh, keep a look out for our female My Rise journey. That's coming up or should be out already on the channel. And we'll see you soon for more WWE 2K22 My Rise.